Hi, this is Mark Kaufman, Anthology's Senior Software Engineer on the Developer Relations and Standards team. And I'm making this video to talk about how you can map your custom roles to an LTI, a launch role for a course organization role. So when the person is enrolled in the course, they have some role, they have maybe, uh, maybe they're a grader, maybe they're an instructor, they, they have to be one of these roles or you can create your own custom roles. So when you do an LTI launch, LTI has a set of roles that they know about. And in Learn, we've mapped these default roles to the LTI roles by, um, by default. So like an instructor is a, um, oh, let's look at them. We edit them. They're, they're a instructor or maybe a faculty in the LTI world. Um, if we look here, we see that there is a list of LTI spec roles here. They're probably, yeah, they're an instructor. Um, but if you create a custom role, like let's just go ahead and copy this role. And we could call it the role name for courses. We could call it um, Bob. And we'll just call it Bob. Now, when we make that copy, uh, Learn doesn't consider the what the default was from the uh, role that it got copied from. So what we need to do is we need to map it to an LTI role. So if we want if we want the role name Bob to be an instructor, then we'll have to pick instructor here. And then when the LTI launch happens for that user. For the user with that role in the course, for the Bob role in the course, then they'll, they'll, the LTI tool will see them as an instructor. Or if you wanted them to be a student, then you would pick a learner. So uh, that's how you do it. And I hope this helps. It, you have to do this in every case for custom roles. The learn administrator will need to map the custom course organization roles to an LTI spec role. Thank you for watching.